please stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, the name of this show is The Spiritual Side of Cannabis. And the next voice you shall hear will be that of the chaplain of the Lighter Than Air Ministries, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Now it looks like we're all set. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you've read about him. You have heard all the rumors. So here now, direct from the studios of the Lighter Than Air Ministries in Katati, California, stepping to the microphone, may I introduce to you the good chaplain, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. I am with you again here in the music sanctuary of the Light and Air Ministries to talk about a dream about a dream. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load. Or does it explode? Yes, explode, ladies and gentlemen. I am Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, and I'm here in the Lighter Than Air Ministries Music Sanctuary to talk about a dream about a dream. I need to share this because I have shared other dreams and in a prescient moment or two, they have come true. Now I've had another dream. It's a dream about summer of the year 2016. And it's a dream about dreams. It's a dream about people's dreams being realized and how something happens. Something happens either extra terrestrially or something enters as a dynamic which allows dreams to become true because if they don't if this isn't the summer where people's dreams come true if this is the summer where people face obstructions if this is the summer where people are afraid to confront the real issues at hand race poverty hunger this is the summer where these must be addressed because in the autumn there's an election. There's an election that's trumped up, and I don't mean that as a joke. It's an election that's in the bag. We saw it with the hanging chads. We saw it. Little glimpses of it come by occasionally, but we cannot afford this. This may be the summer where we do as Thomas Jefferson said, if the people that you elected aren't doing as you expected. If it turns out that the system needs a serious revamping, we might be able to form some for a sort of system or form for that. But this is going to be the summer where people's rights come to force, where people's rights are not to be denied any longer, to where the police officers who shoot first and ask questions later, requiring a hands up, don't shoot posture by a fifth of our community. If being of color is going to put you in a situation of jeopardy, then that must end. And this might be the summer of it. I had a dream that inequities were, were solved. I had a dream where in the summer of 16, people finally said what they needed. And it was addressed by our society. We can't wait any longer. This ministry is a ministry of music and the power of music to change and to help. In 1960, 1968, for instance, the power of music was so powerful to bring together a community through the radio. Radio was our community. Now we have the internet. The community has widened and narrowed at the same time where we can reach out to so many people. I'm asking for help for this ministry to reach out to more people because we have a dream about change. And it's going to happen this summer. One way or the other, a dream, a prophetic dream of mine, add to a prescient moment where I've, of recent, been able to guide people with the results being the exact thing as I dreamt. Ah, oh. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. This ministry starts the year 2016 at the highest of the high notes. We hope that you'll join us as we mix the perfect pair of ministry, music, and marijuana, where we have a spiritual element. If you know somebody who's going to try marijuana for the very first time, ladies and gentlemen, please have them get in touch with our ministry. We're non-Christian, we're non-judgmental, but we're here for them. And we had a dream about the people first starting to smoke marijuana, and we have a special message we'd like to impart to them, a special thing that we'll remember forever as part of their first experience of smoking marijuana. Don't cheat yourself. If this is going to be your first time smoking marijuana, or if you know somebody whose first time is now, don't cheat them. Have this be an experience. Have the entire event be memorable forever. You'll be glad you did. Life is full of just little episodes. And when we start counting them, for our work with the term Leo has taught us nothing if this, nothing more than this, that it's little episodes. You don't care about the days, you care about the event. And the smallest of episodes, the smallest of kindnesses are what's remembered at the very end. So here as we start the new year off, I ask you, please, please, Make those combinations. Make the wonderful pairing of music, ministry, and marijuana. Ministry being the spirit. It's within you. And it's got to come out. Thank you very much once again, ladies and gentlemen. Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, the Lighter Than Air Ministries in Katati, California. May you have a wonderful new year. Thank you for listening to our weekly moment of reflection and celebration, the spiritual side of cannabis. On behalf of this ministry of service, the Lighter Than Air Ministries, we say thank you for listening. Please join us again next week. Good night, and may you go with grace.